hope you're having a good afternoon. I wanted to stop in and do a little demonstration and uh, do something that's probably very simple and you all know what it is already. But um, when I made the file folder junk journals um, with the pocket and everything, I put sewn in pages in it. But in my own personal planner type journal, I like to use a uh, traveler's notebook style or Midori style notebook. So uh, I wanted to stop in today and show you what it takes to put this together so that you have a traveler's notebook type journal. Um, we're going to need a few things. Um, this is not difficult. It just requires a few little toys. Um, some of you might have a crop of dial. I don't have one, so I have a hole punch. Uh, this is probably from my sewing days. Um, because it does not reach into the center, I will have one that you have to use a lovely little hammer for. So this is a hole punch, and I got this at the leather in the leather department. Um, a standard hole punch is way too big. We're going to put in some eyelets. And I, I can't explain eyelets, but it's like a little tube with a ring around the edge of it. And I do not think that you will focus on that, but I can try. Um, so we're going to put in a few little eyelets. Let's put them over there so they don't bounce off the table. We're going to need some elastic. Now, this is round elastic and I had a couple of different brands comes from the fabric store I was hoping this would tell me what size it was oh this one says 4.7 no 4.57 millimeters um, I don't know how that can be 4 millimeters that doesn't look like 4 millimeters um, anyways it's just corded elastic that you get at the fabric store um, we're going to need some scissors, of course, to cut it, a little bit of glue, and this happens to be hypo cement. I um, use it a lot for jewelry and tiny little things because it has a really fine tip on it. Um, it is like about as thick as a hypodermic needle. So, um, that's why it's called hypo cement. It's very sticky. Um, we're going to need a board because we're going to pound on things. Probably a pencil. These are the setters for the eyelets. They have uh, a couple of different pieces. And I'm going to use something that's kind of odd. These are, they call them leader sleeves, but I call them crimp tubes. They actually come from the, the fishing department. They're great big and they will allow you to put two pieces of this elastic through it. And these are crimp pliers. These are just like jewelry crimp, crimp pliers, but they're big ones for the big fishing leaders. Um, I'm also going to use a little piece of fire line. You could use something like dental floss. Um, this is just really strong thread and to get the elastic through the little crimp tube, sometimes you have to pull it and of course a ruler. So let's get started here. Um, I like to have four elastics. So instead of just two elastics I put three holes top and bottom it allows me to have four elastics and then I'm going to put two in the center for my uh, closure so we'll start by measuring and this is a this is a ruler that starts at zero in the center on this side and and goes one one two two so that it 
works out from the center it's really nice to have um, it just makes it easier to find the middle I've got it it's about not quite four and a half four and three eighths each direction yep so we're going to put two dots in the center of the spine for our two holes and then down here and I think we're going to go I think I decided about three-eighths of an inch in from the edge we're going to put one right in the center and then one just to each side so that we have a total of four holes or three holes in the spine now we're going to punch the holes and I've got this set up with the smallest punch right here it's folded double plus we had the, some reinforcement in the spine so it's a little harder to get your holes punched You don't want to get them too close to your other hole because you've got your little pieces that have to fold out. At the same time, you want them right in your spine. Oops, that one's off a little bit. Oh well, that's what they talk about with handmade, so I'm going to punch them out so that I have three little holes in my spine. Fine. I'm going to turn around, do the same thing over here. This one's a lot easier to do because it's only one layer thick. squeeze tight enough. Sometimes it helps with this thing if you squeeze and do a little twist. Okay, we've got three holes top and bottom. Now we need two in the middle. Now those two in the middle, like I said, I'm going to have to use my lovely little hole punch that you have to hit and sorry sorry for the banging yep. as I said we reinforced the spine so, um, so, plus I've got decoration on the back side, so you can't, it's not going through real well. So I'm sorry for doing this so loud. Uh -huh. There we go. Now then. Now. Oh, I forgot something that I like to use when I'm setting eyelets. This is an odd little thing, but really makes it easier to put the eyelets in. If you pick up the eyelet with this, it, it, it's a ice pick. It just lets you line it up with the hole and push it into the hole much more easily than if you're trying to pick it up and push it in with your fingers and I just I just use that to push it right in now then um, there are two pieces to the punch set 
and that is one that has like a little cone shape on it and what I do with it is just run it around like this a little bit and that just kind of helps to push out the beginning of the eyelet and then of course and I'm sorry for the noise you have to hit these And then there's another set piece of the eyelet set that has sort of a little star shape in it. And that, you hit the eyelet. And it will flare it out. Now both of these need to be hit again. But I don't want to keep pounding on things with you on camera. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to go... And put all the eyelets in off camera so that you don't have to listen to me pound on things. I'll be back in just a few minutes. Okay, I'm back. Now then, I'm not sure if you can see how the eyelets split. They, they, they look real round and smooth on one side. And then they have like a little slit in them on the other side. So the eyelets are all in now. And we're going to make, first we're going to make the closure part. And I just uh, figure out how much I want of the elastic. And you always want to give yourself a little extra because while elastic stretches, we are also hard to work with if you have not enough. So I'm going to give myself about that much extra. I'm going to trim off this fuzzy piece. Okay, and that's going to be my closure. But now I want my closure to have the where it's tied together and the inside. So I'm putting both ends through holes from the outside. And I have these two little pieces. And I'm going to take one of my little crimp tubes and slide it on there. And then I'm going to take a piece of this fire line. And the reason I use the fire line is simply because it's strong. And I fold it in half and I'm going to use it sort of like a needle threader. And I'll put the two ends the opposite direction through... The crimp tube so I have a little loop over here pull it a little further see this little loop right here and I'm going to put this end through there and this will give me now they they make dental floss threaders I just don't happen to have any of those and that might work too so then I'm just going to take that and I'm going to pull that little piece the end through Ouch. It's hard on your fingers, so if it happens to be hard on your fingers, get yourself some pliers and use the pliers to pull it. Of course, it went right through the last time I did this, and now I'm trying to show you, and it's not going to do it. There we go. Eventually, it'll start to pull through, and then you've got hold of your elastic, and you can just pull on the piece of elastic until you can get it through there. Okay, and get rid of your piece of thread. So now we have the, the elastics threaded one this way and one that way. And I'm going to take this hypo cement and be prepared because this stuff is messy you might need a don't squeeze the tube whatever you do don't squeeze the tube so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it on the elastics both of them oh good it doesn't want to come out just because I told you don't squeeze the tube 
also very strong so it doesn't take a lot and I'm just going to put a little bit of elastic right there and I need something to kind of lay it down we don't want it to touch and then I don't think you can see it but there's a little bobble of glue coming out you have to put this little wire thing back in there what you want to do is you want to wipe it off before you close it close it up now we're going to slide that crimp tube over the spot that I glued okay and we're going to use our crimp pliers and the crimp pliers have let's see if I can show you they have a spot that's sort of sort of dense and what you want to do is you want to push this little piece into the crimp tube it sort of folds the crimp tube in half and frankly I should have gotten the bigger crimp pliers because these are hard to do but you just squeeze it down and you squeeze it on each end because these are very big ones and you squeeze it and it's squeezing down on the elastic and then when it's got a dent in it uh, can you see the dent? I hope so when it's got a dent in it you roll it sideways and squeeze it again Basically, what it does is it folds it down all nice and flat. Now, you could tie a knot. I've done that before. I just happen to like crimp tube. Um, I like it that it looks all nice and clean. And when it doesn't fold real flat with the crimp pliers, you get it and you fold it some more with these. Now remember, you've got your hypo cement inside there too, so not only have you pinched down on the elastic, you can yank on this elastic pretty hard. And then the glue's going to dry. And so then I just cut off my little extra pieces on each side, being careful not to cut off. Not to cut my... Boy, I bet you this video's not coming out very well. You'll have to try again. All right. So that now is going to pull down, make a nice little neat closure. See how pretty and neat it looks inside? And we have our closure on the outside. Now, this doesn't have anything in it yet, so even though this is a little bit big, it's uh, going to be fine because when it starts getting full of stuff, it will fill up. Okay. All right. Next is our pieces of elastic that go up and down to hold in our inserts, our traveler's notebooks inserts. Okay. Okay, we're going to... I forgot. <laughs> We're going to go out through this middle one and back in through this outside one. Out through this one and back in through this inside one. Now, this is where it gets tricky. You have to get this back out through this hole right here. So, once again, if you can't get it to just go through there real quick, this is where a piece of the fire line comes in handy. This won't be near as hard as the last one, but I just... Thread the two ends down through there, giving myself a oops, wrong one. 
and myself a loop and then I can just pull it through so now you see I've got two course didn't start with enough cord okay and then I've gone out through the middle one I want to come back in through the outside one out through this one and I have to come back in through the middle one up here so there again if I get my uh, sometimes a fresh piece of fire line really helps there again those uh, dental floss threaders would be very nice and I just didn't have one for some reason. <sighs> okay, pull this little end through my little loopy. Pull it through. Now then, as you can see here, I have got, when this one is attached together, I will have four cords. So now I'm going to move this around just a little bit because I don't need quite so much in here. There's always a discussion about how tight do you want these. You want this snug, but you don't want it bending your cover. If it's pulling your cover all to heck, it's just wearing on your elastic. You want it snug. You see, it's, it's snug on the outside. There's just two little things, top and bottom here. And this is where we're going to put another crimp tube. And what I'm going to do is stop the video and um, get it tightened, zoom way in. So I'll be right back. Okay, hopefully, if I can keep this in frame, you'll be able to see what it is that I'm doing this time instead of having, being not being able to see. I'm going to thread one end of the elastic through the crimp tube. I'm going to take my piece of fire line and I'm going to take the two ends and put it the opposite way through the crimp tube come on now and I'm going to pull it down until I have this little loop And I'm going to put my elastic through that little loop and then I'm going to pull on the fire line. And now I'm just going to hold the crimp tube and pull that fire line. It will pull the elastic through there. Okay. So now I have Let me didn't show it to you. There we go. Hope you can see it. Now I have two the two pieces of elastic.
through that crimp tube and I have them nice and snug. That may be a little too snug, so we'll just pull it back out a little bit. Okay. Okay. Now, I'm going to put some hypo cement on one side of the elastic, on, on both pieces, but on one side of the crimp tube. And I'm giving it a reasonably good amount. Okay. And then I have to get this back in that thing. This is, I swear, using this glue, the hardest part is closing the cap. There we go. And then, like I said, you want to wipe off any extra glue that's on there. Otherwise, it'll just glue itself shut. Okay. And shove it on down. Then we're going to slide the crimp tube down over the glue. Okay. And we're going to put crimpy pliers. and squeeze. And then, okay, now I'm hoping you can see that dent or crease that's in the crimp tube. And at this point, we turn it sideways. And then oh, we're in the wrong spot. And basically fold the crimp tube. back with these and fold it some more. Okay, now then we're going to trim off the tails. All done. We've just turned our file folder cover into a traveler's notebook cover that we can add our file for our inserts into. Um, whether you use it as a art uh, mixed media art cover or for your planner or notes whatever you use it for it makes a great traveler's notebook cover <coughs> excuse me if you like this video and I'm sorry this this one was hard to see um, but I gave it my best I hope you liked it I hope you will give it a thumbs up and I hope you will subscribe to my channel please please let me know if I can do anything better. Um, constructive criticism it is always a good thing in my family. Um, thank you very much for stopping by. Please stop by again. Please subscribe to the channel. Please give it a thumbs up. Oh, and click that little bell so you know when I upload a new video.